Aloha Aries, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your reading for July um, 2020. These are messages from Spirit for July, um, for July, <laughs> see, for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. So this is take two, the first take we had like dog Dogmageddon, everybody was, um, was yelling, so I guess we will start again, and it's okay to start over. Nope. Okay. So now the message is Gaia, Earth Connection. Okay, be mindful of the planet, come back to Earth and stay grounded, Aries. Okay, so if you've been out there in the clouds for the last few months, it's time to stay grounded, come on back to Earth, be mindful of the planet, what you can do to help with that. Okay, and we're gonna look up an archetype here my new cars. They're so cool. Okay. All right. Aries. Archetype that wants to help is the forest. Okay. So we have the earth and the forest. And let's just see what she says about the forest. So we all have these different places, things that are our um, archetypes. So this is the woods, the thicket, and the jungle. Um, consider for a moment your earliest memory of the forest. It's likely it included all the mythic dynamics of this archetypal space. Little fear, little enchantment, perhaps losing your way, perhaps discovering a secret mystical treasure, such as the magic of the forest. It requires first that you enter it and then that you get lost within it. You may think there is a path that leads you straight through, but soon enough you'll be on what is known as the pathless path. There are tricksters here, dense foliage and entanglement. But equally present are the glimmers of fairy light and friends among the trees. You're on an adventure now, and there's no turning back. So embrace the dim light and the moving shadows, whether literal or imaginal. Brave the forest and get and get lost getting found. Okay? So yeah, Aries, this is connecting back to the earth. Connecting um, archetypes can be in your mind, or you can see them at work. But they're energies that are the forever energies. Okay? So this forest, it's asking you to really connect in with the earth, to really give yourself um, over to the earth and energies, to, um, you know, go through the forest of your own mind and see what's there, okay? See what's there, but ground in, stay on earth a little bit, you know? <laughs> but yeah interesting because the previous card was the heart awakening okay so you very well may for some of you there was interruptions with that one so um, you know you may be going through a heart awakening in July um, because it did show up on the first one um, when I get major interruptions like that it shows me that either one or the majority is having an objection to that previous reading, or it may have been too specific. Um, so just if it resonates with you that there is a heart awakening that is coming forth, um, that was in the first reading. I'd only picked two cards, you know, and then um, it went to that. So while you're opening up to the earth, we also have awakened awareness, okay? So you have the earth connection, <clears throat> the forest, and the awakened awareness. So Aries, month of July, I feel like spending time in nature is going to open up awareness for you, okay? Um, if you can hike or go into places that are the literal forest, um, there may be energy and information for you because you're connecting and how you're awakening your awareness is through this earth energy, through Mother Gaia herself, okay? So get out into nature, put your feet in the soil, okay? Um, see what the forest has to offer you. This uh, um, really has to do with, you know, getting in and amongst the trees and meeting the creatures that are there. And this could be a meditation or this could be literal um, either way do both you know spend some time in meditation spend some time in meditation in the forest whatever works for you to get back to you 
because the goal here is always for you to get farther into your own intuitive mind and your own sovereignty. Okay, this is coming up in a few readings. Um, so we have the hero font, okay? So this awakened awareness is really awakening you. What I'm seeing, because this showed up in several of the readings, is that for a good number of the zodiac signs, you're coming into a heightened spiritual awareness. You're becoming um, your own spiritual guru or hero font, or um, this is the sage, this is the shaman, this is the one who um, would live out in the forest, you know? And so Aries, you're coming into your own sense of, a sense of um, learning and your own sense of sovereignty in your spiritual life. You also got the Knight of Pentacles, so an offer of money. Uh, and it may be that you're asked to, to do something in the forest, like um, some of you, maybe asked to hike a trail and you get paid for it you know but there's there's a new energy coming in so pentacles or diamonds have to do with values currency how we do money in the world but it's specifically like how energy is exchanged so um, how you're doing that is going to be from a more connected um, earthen stage okay and then we have the sun so this awareness <clears throat> that's coming in and you entering into a deeper level of your own spiritual learning and awakening, you have energy coming into this. You have the sun. This is really about your own sovereignty. Like what I keep hearing is sovereignty, your own spiritual sovereignty, your own belief in your own um how energy travels through your own body you're learning to ground in the month of july you're learning to come back to earth you've done the whole spiritual thing now this is like okay how do you apply it how do you apply your guru to the earthen world and you're awakening to a new level of awareness there yeah and we have queen of wands um, so queen of wands is the mother of intuition and look she is like having the party with the black hat okay she sits here with the hero font okay so you have that spiritual sense your divine masculine and feminine aries is in balance like it is balanced excuse me um in the month of july you're gonna get that through um through moving into this beautiful um forest like setting like some of you might have like a little bit of a vision quest if you live like where you can camp and um, be in magical areas because there's information in the forest for you let's see what just flipped over here yeah queen of pentacles okay queen of pentacles is um, the generous one she's made her investments wisely she's the one who um, you know is the partner with the king of pentacles so she's mastery of um she's in that royal suit in that mastery of values currency okay so you got both the knight and the queen so she's the philanthropist so you may do things where you're working um, in month of july on some mission or helping like i'm seeing like a habitat for humanity or something of like that sort where you go and like help other people, um, kind of a humanitarian effort. Um, and however, however you do that, but that may be what gets you into the actual forest. Um, let's see. Yeah, so that looks good. You've got this feminine side that's going really well. I feel like you're waking up to your own personal sovereignty, your own balance. Yeah, Eight of Cups, because you're leaving, um, you're leaving an old energy that hurt your heart, you know. And this could be how you felt about yourself, Aries. This doesn't have to be a relationship, but you're, but you're leaving it. You're done, you know, and you're moving into your own personal sovereignty. I feel like maybe where before you gave all of your energy over to um, a relationship or even a thought form. Sometimes we can be so in our thoughts and in our belief systems in one side of the fence 
that we completely get lost in it, okay? And so um, you're leaving that behind and really delving into um, this awakened awareness of yourself, but it's really grounding in. So I feel like Aries, you've been doing um, a lot of spiritual work. You've been doing a lot of self change and, um, you know, maybe taking classes or have been in this process of transformation and now you're grounding it in. How do you become that sage on earth? Okay. How do you, um, you know, move forward on earth? Yeah, five of pentacles. So some things have changed um, in the past and how you move forward is ask for help. There's going to be a change maybe in how your money comes in. Um, but with the knight of pentacles, it's showing that there's a new stream or new energy happening. Um, but this is really about asking for help. Okay. So don't be too proud, proud to ask for help. I feel like those kind of darker times are starting to um, starting to release themselves. Okay. Oops. Okay, that's way too many. Um, I really think there's magic. Like I keep looking at this forest, and um, there's a really magic for you here physically and metaphysically. I mean, you can go there in meditation, but I think <clears throat> there's value for you to actually spend time um, in a sacred forest. Yeah, the hanged man. And to surrender to it, okay? It's asking you to surrender, to let go, so that you can have this awareness. Um, I feel like you've been holding on to these old past energies when really you've done the work already. You're the Hierophant and you're the Queen of Wands. You know, you have this mother of intuition and the sage energy that is who you are. That's where all the energy is presenting itself, okay? All of the sun energy is going into this awakened awareness. So surrender to it. Let go of those old past energies. Ask for the help that you need but really ground in because there's there's I feel like this is a vision quest and this vision quest is into your own personal sovereignty and really feeling it in your body that you are everything that you need because I said you are and then the empress um, came out okay so everything that you need look at this twice Everything that you need, you've got it right inside you. Mother Earth has that for you. Spend some time really communing. Month of July isn't necessarily about um, results in the way of um, a specific question. The month of July for you, Aries, is really about you getting into your personal sovereignty, really feeling um, and getting into communion with Mother Earth. Okay, really feeling your sovereignty, opening yourself up to the magic of the I am and opening up the magic of um, the forest beings, okay? That, that awareness, that um, fairy sort of magic that comes from communing with the earth, but it takes surrender. This awareness that you're coming into, you have to surrender into it, um, but there's everything that you need comes from it from that surrender, from moving forward, from communing with earth, from allowing your awareness to be awakened, you are coming into complete personal and spiritual sovereignty. So Aries, awesome. I'm really proud of you. Um, this looks very good. This is a spiritual time. I'd be excited to hear about, you know, where your vision quests take you. So, um, yeah, spend some time with Earth, love it up in the forest because you've got it, okay? You're a powerful spiritual being and I'm really grateful. So thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, all of that. And until next time, Aries, aloha.